The Mini Filmmaker Kit, part number GS3970, has been designed to produce thin films of certain polymer plastic materials quickly and easily. It consists of a set of purpose-built heated plate assemblies within a mini pellet press to allow for introduction of separate matching filmmaker assembly of parts for the production of thin films of suitable polymer materials. This product video will show the production of a polymer thin film using a particular PVC material which melts at 180 degrees centigrade and using an applied 0.5 tonne load. The procedure begins by setting a temperature on the press. First, ensure that the heated surfaces of the press are touching by bringing them together from rotation of the lead screw knob before setting any temperature. Using a combination of pressing the up and down temperature control buttons, select a temperature value of 190 degrees centigrade for the set display. Typically it takes approximately 4 to 5 minutes for the actual temperature display to reach equilibrium at 190 degrees centigrade from room temperature and to coincide with the set temperature display value. Whilst the heated surfaces of the press are reaching their operating temperature, the PVC sample can be prepared in the filmmaker assembly. The filmmaker assembly is built by placing the shield part over the lower plate and assembly. Choose one of the four sizing rings to use in the construction for the optimum thickness of film. For our example, we have used the 250 micron thick sizing ring, which has three grooves on its edge to identify. The sizing ring is placed the correct way up into the shield and over the lower platen. Next, the small diameter foil is placed into position. The sample is placed carefully and centrally onto the small diameter foil. Next, the large diameter foil is placed to cover the sample. Finally, the top plate and assembly is positioned. When constructed, the whole assembly is ready to be placed into the heated press. With construction of the filmmaker assembly, ensure the heated surfaces of the press have stabilised at 190 degrees centigrade for their actual temperature. To insert the constructed filmmaker assembly with sample into the press at its operating temperature, turn the lead screw knob anti-clockwise to create a sufficient gap between the heated surfaces. On the lower heated surface, there are two small location pins that help to correctly centralise the filmmaker assembly into position. Insert the filmmaker assembly until the parts engage and touch both location pins. Turn the lead screw knob clockwise to bring the top heated surface into close contact with the filmmaker parts to begin the process of heat transfer to the polymer sample. Initially, there will be a reduction in the actual temperature display value as the cold filmmaker assembly is introduced into the hot environment, but within a couple of minutes, the actual temperature display and the set temperature display values will read the same as the sample temperature reaches equilibrium. When the actual and set temperature values have reached equilibrium and stability, the polymer sample within the filmmaker assembly will have melted or softened sufficiently to apply a tonnage load. Before any tonnage load is to be applied, ensure that the pressure screw assembly knob is fully unwound anti-clockwise to its start position. Apply a further force to the filmmaker assembly between the heated surfaces by hand tightening the lead screw assembly knob. When the lead screw assembly is hand tight, begin applying a tonnage load via clockwise turning of the pressure screw assembly knob. Usually, a 0.5 tonne load, as indicated at the pressure gauge, is sufficient for the formation of a thin film. When the tonnage load has been reached, as indicated at the gauge, stop turning the pressure screw assembly knob. Hold the tonnage load for typically 30 seconds and then release the tonnage load by anti-clockwise turning of the pressure screw assembly knob all the way back to its start position. Separate the heated surfaces further to aid in removal of the filmmaker assembly by turning slightly anti-clockwise the lead screw assembly knob. Now, very carefully remove the hot filmmaker assembly and place it onto the cooling plate. At this stage, retighten the lead screw assembly knob to bring the heated surfaces together to prepare the temperature of the press for a new sample. 
It is possible, whilst the filmmaker assembly is still hot, to separate the components using the tweezers supplied with the kit to gain access to the aluminium foil sandwich of thin film parts. When sufficiently cool to touch, the aluminium foils are carefully peeled away from the thin polymer film that has been formed from the heating and pressing process. The tweezers supplied can help in the process of separation of the foils. When the aluminium foils have been removed, a thin film of circa 15mm diameter and of a thickness corresponding to the sizing ring chosen will have been produced. Specker cards have been provided with the kit to mount the thin film made by placing the film carefully and centrally over one of the 10mm diameter aperture holes on the adhesive surface side of the card. The specker card is then folded over along its central fold line to bring the two adhesive surfaces together to trap the film into position between the aperture holes. The resultant specker card with the thin film sample is 3 inches by 2 inches in size and slide fits into a spectrometer compartment that utilises a 3 by 2 inch slide mount plate. A typical infrared transmission spectrum for the PVC sample can be obtained as seen.